Today we're going to be talking about entries and timings. Stay tuned traders, we'll be right back. Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. It's Friday, we have had a very, very buoyant week of Great trade opportunities, not only on gold, uh, but the euro and the pound have given some textbook perfect trade setups. Today we're going to go through those. We're going to be talking about entries and timings. A lot of questions from people. I think uh, traders, there's a lot of really simple concepts that our people are forgetting to tie into this. We're going to just break this down into detail. Same question, you know, what are you thinking? Well, how did, how did, why was that an entry? And some very, very basic things. I, I, I emphasize the importance of timing and understanding, paying attention to the clock. So we're gonna go into that in detail today. Some absolutely huge moves yesterday, pound, euro, and gold. And I think we're gonna get some more of that before the week is done. So let's get started. Before we do that, again, I'd like you to hit the like button for me. Again, a ton of great feedback and a lot of new people coming on board. Uh, some fantastic feedback from people who have literally, in a week or two of just following, have changed their trading after studying and fr being frustrated for years. And I know that feeling. And, and understanding that trading is a journey of constant progress. You can, no matter how good you get, I, I've talked to traders on this channel, we've emailed, we've corresponded, they've built up some massive trading accounts and destroyed them in a, a series of tilted trades and it's so easy to do and part of you know even me doing these daily videos is just keeping myself on track helping other traders and you know I love the markets I love trading and I'm constantly focused on getting better and bigger and hopefully this is helping because I've had a lot of people help me and again just simplify Understanding if, if you're sitting at the screen for hours on end, you've really missed the whole point of this. We talked about this in the stop hunt video the other day. They work from the high and the low. They being the smart money, the electronic market makers, the big players, the institutions, whatever people want to call it. You know, I've had so many people emailing me telling me that I need to look at the, the closing price of the gold. I need to look at commitments of traders reports. You don't need any of that. You need to look at the chart on the price and watch how price behaves. Have a plan when you go to the screen. Every single session, they move 50 pips or more. Every single session. But it is a, it is a skill that needs to be developed. And still some traders are, are getting caught chasing stuff right off the bat. That's a 50-50 game. I've emphasized focusing on the timing window, understanding that the 15 minute cycles and rotations are what will give you the confidence to enter into a position after they've showed their hand. We're not trying to, to predict. We're not trying to go in, like somebody asked me yesterday, do you go into the market with a bias of only being in one direction? The, the market moves in both directions. The market may be in a big downtrend, but they may move it down and then have a 100 pip stop hunt. So I think it's important to understand I'm trading how price behaves after they've shown me the move. I'm not trying to jump on board and, and chase it. I'm trying to allow the market to set us up. We have, we have trades right into the open. Yesterday there was trade right in the Europe open, right into the US open. You're done even before uh, most tra traders have even figured out what's going on. 50 pips straight out of the gate. So there's a lot of opportunities and it's important to not be in a hurry and not to be worried about making money, but to focus on executing the best trade setups. So what are the best trade setups? Well, there's, there's multiple types of setups, but again, we talk about working from the high and the low of the day. Last night, we had perfect, right at the New York equity market open, a stop hunt to the high of the day to where they reversed it and rolled over for 50 plus pips on both pairs. Gold did the same thing. And we're going to go through all three of those, whether you're using the 15 minute charts or the one minute. So again, I talk about, I use the, the one minute charts on gold, but I look at my 15 minute levels. Okay. But these charts, once they've gone to the, once they've done their stop hunt, you can use a one minute chart if you're confident that it's a stop hunt and not a breakout. So again, we're going to look at the difference and understanding that the timing the 15-minute the cycles, 
the timing of the equity market opens and, the, and, and what that does psychologically for both parties, whether you're long or short, round, major round numbers, double zeros, 50s, okay? The quarters are for extended stop hunts or for trapping volume, okay? Gold's a perfect example. We're gonna go look at the whole week. They, this was a perfect textbook template for the weekly pattern. An engulfment pin hammer, okay? Now, again, understanding when and with regards to the timing window, how to have the confidence to enter into the market. How is a one bar stop work? Am I at round numbers? Am I at the high or the low of the day? Is this locking in the high or is this a breakout? Just some little simple things. Three pushes. Did the market work up to that level or down to that level in three pushes? Did it jam in in three pushes? Just little simple things and again, Understanding instead of staring bar by bar, wondering if that's the entry or not, pay attention to the clock. If you have 12 minutes left in a 15 minute cycle and they just got into the low of the day, chances are, okay, you're going to be at least six or seven more minutes for confirmation of that because they may pull it back and move it down another 25 pips. Understand that the clock is your friend. 15 minute cycles. If a fi and we're going to look at the 15 minute charts because if you understand that, if a 15 minute bar goes down and the next 15 minute bar goes up, that tells you that the market didn't move until the next 15 minute bar opened. So that's really important just to grasp that concept and to start using the clock as your best indicator. Instead of staring at the bars one by one and, and guessing, understand that there's a timing rotation to this and that's what part of this whole process is super. I mean. You can, instead of sitting there for hours on end, come to the screen half an hour before the session opens, look at what they've done in the gap time. Who cares if they moved at 50 pips? They're gonna move it again. You can't catch every move. And if you're sitting there, for me, to sit at the screen all day, which I did for years, and that, that was an immense learning curve, but also understanding that you, you can't, they, you might sit there all day and they might not move it. Why not just come to the screen prior to the window opening to see what they've done? Have they been working the low? Did they, did they break out and, and move up to the high in the gap time? Maybe they're going to sell it off again. Are we at double zeros? The, the gold yesterday went double zero, double zero, double zero, double zero, 300 pips. And they just dropped it down in 100 pip boxes. Each session, stop on high, drop it down. So just think simple, step back, have a look. Uh, Euro and pound just gave some really great trade setups regardless if you were on the 15 minute or the one minute But obviously the one minute would have gave you entries at the extremes with a tight stop And that's the whole point you're looking 50 60 pips or more and you're talking a 10 or 12 pip stop That's five maybe ten to one for some traders and I talked about that yesterday with our risk reward trade setups We want to work from the extremes if it's a trend trade then we're looking for a measured move. Same thing, I can, I can trade off the high and still go long, but I, wanna, I want them to do a stop hunt first. We talked about this yesterday. The market pulls back into consolidation. They hit the stops. They hit the stops. They might hit the stops again before they roll over. Price tells us when we're gonna enter, okay? And also the timings, because we talked about 15, to 30 minutes, they might go seven and a half minutes down, seven and a half minutes, and then the second 15 minute candle is up at the high of the day. So again, our 15 minute bar closes here, and the next one goes up, there might be a 15 minute pullback, and the next 15 minute bar spikes up and comes down. So some really simple things just by looking at the 15 minute charts while you have your one minute chart up there heading into the open can tell you, have they, was the last 15 minute bar prior to the market opening a stop hunt? Did the one minute chart confirm that? What's a stop hunt look like on a 15 minute chart? If we're looking for a pin on a 15 minute chart, a one, two, three engulfment on a one minute chart in a new candle, so first candle of that 15 minute bar comes back, that's a pin bar on a 15 minute chart. So understanding that as each new 15 minute bar opens if you're looking for something down low or up high that timing window is what will allow you to confirm your price action better sometimes they may go seven and a half minutes up and seven and a half minutes back so again we're if it doesn't if it doesn't look right or it's not behaving right or we're, we haven't had a stop hunt then it's chances are we just wait again there's going to be 
there's going to be more trades, but on the pound and the euro, that was absolutely textbook perfect. One, two, three to the high, 30 minutes to the high, the third candle reversed, and it was down from there the rest of the night. Right at the New York Open, they went right back to the high, so they take traders to the extreme, chasing the move, lock it in and reverse the market and dropped away. We're at the high of the week. That was a textbook perfect trade setup. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, talking about entries and timings. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday on the euro, pound, and gold, there were some textbook perfect setups. And again, just grasping the concept of uh, the weekly template, the timing window, uh, round numbers, high and low of the day. And, and when the opportunities present, when these trade setups present, uh, how there are going to be textbook trade setups that are just scalable in size. And this is an example on the euro last night. We're up high for the week. We have the high of the week heading into the session. And again, we talk about the stop hunt. And we talked about this in a video two days ago. Hit the stops, hit the stops. The market breaks down initially. Now again, I talk about the equity market opening in New York at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, New York time. And in a large majority of the cases, that equity market opening will take traders into the extreme before reversing. We talk about this pretty much in every single video. Uh, but this was just textbook perfect. Traders um, might have got caught chasing this move, breaking out of the market on the 15 minute. They've taken the trade. And of course, the market comes back and hits the stops. So this first mouse in the first hour chases the breakout. They hit the stops, they get the engulfment at the low and they proceed one, two, three. Okay, this high candle, the very last bull candle at the high is the opening of the New York market. This candle right here. So again, we have a one, two, three to the high of the day at the high of the week. Now we have the engulfment. Now obviously we've talked about uh, traders fighting for the best price. Now understand when you get a breakout like this at the open of the market and there's a gap between your fill price if you chase the candle, even though it's at the quarter level, and the wick, very rarely do they not come back. And the reason why is that when they come back, they're shaking traders out of winning positions, putting heat on traders that have gotten the fill down here. And this 15 minute bar probably hangs up here for a while to get traders to be scared to enter into that trade, to maybe close their positions. Maybe they've gone to break even already and they're stopped out. And then the sideways consolidation underneath of the high bull is the dead giveaway. There's a second entry for traders who were patient or didn't enter in up here. We're going to look at the one minute in a second. But again, we also have structure for a large measured move. Two times the expansion of that range, which again, we're pretty much up to the 50 level, but we had a one, two, three high of the week, the engulfment, even if traders were looking to get in on the pin. We'll zoom in on the one. So we see the market push up in that initial, we talked about this with uh, the 15 minute rotation. So that New York open goes up, hits the stops and pulls back. Now again, at this stage, that first push up is a new high. Okay, so one new high by itself is not an entry. We have a second push up, a pullback, and then a third push up, which again, when I, I talked about just the timing itself. So this one, two, three, this first bar at the high is the new candle rotation of the fit next 15 minute bar. So it comes down first and proceeds sideways and then coming back up. But we get a one, two, three and a large engulfment of the entire four bar structure closing back inside of the first peak. And again, remember that this candle, this, this high bull candle was the first bar breaking the high. The next 15 minute bar, we talk about 15 to 30 minutes 
working one side. They come back and come up at the end of that 15 minute candle just as not only the 15 minute candle is ending but the next hour is beginning. First bar of the new hour is our first bear candle at the high. We'll just zoom in on that. And as I mentioned, the clock is your best friend. Then we get the engulfment. Okay, so we get the first move down. And again, they come back one more time. But this, this is where traders, there's, there's multiple options. If you're confident that you're in the trade, you're up high, you're in this trade, it comes down, it goes sideways, they come back one more time. Now you may have taken pips off at this point, but coming back to our 15 minute chart, which again we'll, we'll take a look at, this 15 minute chart, if you're already in the trade or if you're not in the trade, it's more about understanding that if that is the high, if they've locked in the high, okay, they've locked in the high, then this high bull structure is our one bar stop. So anywhere inside here, as this candle comes back up, if you're not in here, and that's fine if you're not, what we're looking for is evidence that they've locked in the high or the low of the day. So one minute traders, maybe they've, they've taken this trade, it's worked its way down uh, inside of this range, it's going sideways, they close the trade, we're sideways at 75, they think it's coming back up. They come back up and drop it down, our trade entry is confirmed on that second shoulder of the M pattern, okay? And even the measured move on the M structure itself gives us two full expansions of that range. So timing-wise, the new hour starts, comes down, and goes sideways. The next hour comes back for a stop hunt before they roll it over. So the, the point being is recognizing Okay, we hit the stops, we hit the stops, they've pulled it back inside of the original consolidation and gone sideways. One, two, three, engulfment, and then the fast move down. Again, looking at the pound. Pound was a lot quicker for traders who were in. Again, we had the high of the day, high of the week, high of the day. We have the low heading into the session so again swing low swing high whatever you want to call them we have a low we have a high the whole point is that once they're back inside that's the low that's the high equity market takes traders to the extreme one two this is our New York open the second candle pulling back inside they take out the low of the high bull consolidation and then the continuation bar into the, the third hour. Now the stop hunt on the one minute chart, okay, this is textbook perfect. So again, understanding that we get the fast move to the high in that New York open. We get the one, two tweezers, and then three, the engulfment of the high bull. So again, now there are traders who, who will enter in up here, the sideways consolidation, and then the continuation of that move. We get the engulfment of the pin, but we also have a middle structure for a swing low rectangular structure up top. And again, that market just pulled away quickly for 50 pips. So timing wise, again, 15 minute charts. Uh, there's our high low. You can use levels. Oh, sorry, we weren't at the high of the week on the, on the pound, but we're zooming back. We're inside of the peak formation. So again, even coming back to this original trade from Wednesday, they dropped it down before coming back in three pushes and a one, two, three. The timing window is, is so important. That's the key. Understanding that you're in that 12 candle window. But once New York opens, this is one of the most common things. They'll stop hunt back to the extreme, taking traders in the wrong direction. Uh, often hitting the stop, so again, we, we don't see the stop hunt down low, but we see the push down inside of the low bear. So they uh, pull it back inside, going into the window, they pin down into it, pull it back, consolidate, one, two, three to the high, consolidate, and then engulf and take off from 50, 
and run away for the rest of the session. Over 100 pip move. Uh, but the timing window, that's the key. You know, people got all this indicators and junk on their charts. You don't even need the, the, the eye sessions, the colored windows. I have these on the charts for the videos. You don't need those. What time is it? That's what you need to know. And I have a clock. I pay attention to the 15-minute rotations because, again, just looking. 15 minutes, are we at the high? No. 15 minutes, are we at the high? Yes, we are. Well, the next one-minute cycle could possibly be my trade entry. We're at the high. One, two, three. So that's when I want to look at my one-minute chart. In here, you're going to get caught into whipsaw and chopping and everything else, and this little swing down, so they, they've come down, they've come back inside, they've gone down again, so they've hit stops on traders that are long off the bottom, and then they've gone up and hit stops on traders that have shorted it down low chasing the swing prior to the equity market opening. It's not going to happen like this every single session, but that's the point. These are the trades you're looking for. These are the, the best trade setups. We're not trying to trade every single move that the market does. Try to figure it out. Predict it. We're not doing that. I'm not doing that. I tried that. I don't like it. What I'm looking for is when they make a stop hunt to the high or to the low. One push, two push. Third push is a one, two, three. New York open, reversal. They're done. They're not coming back. That's, that's the, the false move. Now they're going to take off and shift away. They've got this whole upper 50 plot. Uh, pit block of volume trapped as well as stops from the previous day when we look at gold we can see uh, almost like clockwork the same sort of behavior and again gold obviously has more volatility uh, but the point I'm making with understanding that the timing window and the 15 minute charts is that when you get a, a 15 minute bar that moves at the open of the equity markets makes a stop hunt okay towards the end of this 15 minute cycle when we are going to the chart we want to see have they hit stops the markets been making new lows throughout the entire day and again if we go back and look at our we have three pushes up the market engulfs takes out the neckline of a three push pattern we're making new lows after that heading towards the previous day's low we take out the previous day's low, they pull back prior to the market opening, they go down further, and then we get the one, two up. So when we go to our one minute chart, so I wanna know what time it is. This has got nothing to do with hindsight. This is what time is it? Am I at the high or the low? And you know, that's what you're looking for. Simple trade setups. New York opens right here, this, this engulfment bar. Okay, we know we're in a creeping trend down. Is that tradable? That's entirely up to the traders that if, if they want to take this trade, it's completely tradable. Again, you've got a one bar stop. It's a big move, but as I've mentioned, very rarely if it's a fast, strong move, do they come back more than 15 to 20 pips. So you want to fight for your best price. They go to the high. One push, two pushes, engulfment of the high bull off of 75. That's telling me they're in the upper quarter and that we could get a trade off of 50 neckline the highest the 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 low before the high they come down one more time right shoulder engulfment at 50 for a continuation of the down move downtrend stop hunt high for the sell fast 100 plus pips one push two push three pushes okay i could be in a downtrend there's a three push pattern off of 50 for a 50 pip stop hunt into that move it rolls over again and continues down so we got one leg down two legs down three legs down we could be at the end that's three hours into our 12 candle window they engulf at the low off of double zeros and pull it back into consolidation so so important if you don't know what an engulfment is and a pin hammer take a look at your charts and print them off engulfment the pin hammer is the stop hunt into the trader who's got the trade right Sometimes you're going to get, even, even on this move, the stop hunt, an engulfment, and a pin hammer off the low. Is it right at the low? No, because they're pulling away fast to make a stop hunt move. So again, if you're chasing a move like this, would I put a lot of size on that? Probably not. Would I trade that? Maybe sometimes. Sure. Depends on how good the, the trade looks. Where's the stops? 
that's at least 25 pips. Well, I don't, you know, I wouldn't put more than 20 pips of risk on that. So they come up one, two, three. It's possible that we're going to go 25 to 50 pips above or below the zone as a typical stop hunt. And when could this trade end? It could end at 25. It could end on a three push pattern. It could end on a pin hammer, whatever that may be. But again, the, the importance of taking profits. If I get a fast move for 25 plus pips, I might be out. I might hold on to this. I might have two. Take one off at 25, be a break even on the second one. Let the second one go. We get a one, two, three and an engulfment. I might try and get out at the, the quarter level above. So again, we could have an expectation that they're going to go 25 pips above the range and our exit the trade at 75. Uh, they come sideways. We have a whole structure. We have a head and shoulders pattern. The measured move just on the head and shoulders gives us two full expansions down. Uh, we could have a continuation of that whole 100 pip box where if you come back and we look at this chart, okay, we moved in 100 pip increments the whole day on, on gold. They opened the day up. They came below the 100. They went 100, 100, and 100 throughout the whole session. Three levels of drop, 100, 100, and 100. So again, the importance of the timing window traders, uh, key, timing is key and understanding that time is your friend. Use it to your advantage, especially at the high or the low of the day. Have a great trading session and may the market stay with you. Hi traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.